Yes. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Hello, class. Hello. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening, yes. <laughs> Good evening. All right. How are you today? Fine. Really nice, Peter. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Reminder, yeah. remember. Very nice. There is class tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. Oh, my God. Because, okay. because there was no class Monday, remember? Okay, that's good. We have... We have... Uh, on Monday we have free in exchange and Friday we have the class. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's true. What? But we didn't have free, we had off. In English you say we had off. We had off. Ah. Yeah, we had Monday off. Okay. We didn't say we don't say we had Monday Monday free. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Good. That's why people say, oh, it's my day off. It's my day off. It's this, it's that. Is it a holiday too? One Monday? Yes. No, it was the storm. Holy, I remember. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know why it affected us. I mean, we were okay it, virtually. Wow. No, but maybe maybe because of odd people that live in different areas. That's true. Uh -huh. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, teacher here near my neighborhood. Uh, there were three. Uh, there, were, there were what? Three trees. Three trees. Uh, were, were down. Fell down. They fell. The trees uh, fell down. Fell down. Yeah. And, and they and they uh, caused uh, that the, that the traffic were was stopped. Really. Yes. It was very difficult here. Wow. Mm -hmm. that, wow, that was it, ugly. The over here is near a, a small hill, you know. Where do you live? In San Patricio neighborhood. Oh, yes, it's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a little bit difficult. We couldn't, we couldn't leave. Yeah, and in a small. Mm-hmm. Yes. But no. In the. In the I don't know how to say the cuesta. <laughs> After the cuesta, we can over over, where, over there where the the trees down. You know now that you say cuesta. Yes. I thought I thought it was only salvadoreños. Uh -huh. Until. Yeah, que estamos haciendo until, until I started interpreting. Oh. Latinos, we are terrible, terrible for giving explanations and directions. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are because, um, like for example, in El Salvador, let's say, let's say, imagine I am. I am in la autopista, right? Then I stop and I ask somebody, excuse me, where's the autopista? Te vas recto para arriba y no paras. Yes? And we understand. We understand. Yes. But we, we say go straight up. What up? There's no up. <laughs> you know? And if you take that literally in English, you're driving, it's no, he said up. Y aquí todo el plano. Oh my God, we are lost. But no, it, it's the way we speak. Um, yeah. You know what is another big mistake we make? 
cruzar. Cruzar a la derecha. Because if you analyze cruzar, viene de cruz, from a cross. Yes, so it's impossible. You, it's only the cardinal numbers, north, south, east, west. <clears throat> so you... The, you the, the situation, teacher, is that we don't know the, the nomenclature. No, no, I understand that. But like, the, the reason why I'm telling you is this, because, you know, we say a cruzar la derecha, we can't. We, we cross the street. Yes. But you can't cruzar a la derecha. Uh, cross left. Right. Turn right. It's turn, it's turn right or in right. Spanish right. sería girar. Turn left. Girar. And, <laughs> when, and this is a problem when, um, when I am speaking with insurance. When they, when they call the person, they tell them, okay, tell me what happened. No. Mm -hmm. They say like, Sí, yo iba y, de, y, 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 y iba en la, en la cuesta. Ahí vamos. Por eso I remember. Cuesta. <laughs> y, y se me metió en el andén. Y, 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 but it, it's very difficult. And, and, and when it comes to insurance, they have to be very, very specific. Mm -hmm. You know, so, oh, I hate those calls. I really hate when, they, oh, we're going to talk. We have a... I need to speak with them because I need him to tell me exactly because the insurance, they like, they need you to tell them I was driving in the middle, in the right, in here, in, in one of, what is Cuesta? It, it is an, a, what, why cross right? You can't cross right. And, and you know, that's, that's where the interpretation comes. That means turn left. Pero les tengo que decir, she said cross right, but that means turn right. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Turn right. I have to tell them because everything is legal. But we're, we're very bad people to give directions. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, I, including myself. I mean, because we are like. In El Salvador, everything is five minutes away. Where are you? Do you know uh, El Lucero? Yeah, a cinco minutos de Lucero. Everything is five minutes away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like, for example, when we, when we say straight, go straight, we say go up. Yes. Recto para arriba, no para yeah but let's say but you know i mean guatemaltecos they're they're son peores eh, colombianos eh, nicaragüenses too but in nicaragua creo que no tienen calles o sea nombres o, o avenues o algo entonces cuentan mucho los 300 meters yes cuentan por metro yes mm -hmm. All right. So remember yesterday I was I told you we were going to study like I, I was going to teach you um, just something real quick. This this three words. I'm going to teach you. They're actually prepositions. Mm -hmm. um, these prepositions are in on at. Mm -hmm. They're very they're very easy, but sometimes they're very difficult. Because you say in my house and in five minutes. So what is in? Because if I if I ask somebody, what is in? Adentro. I am in my house. Adentro. Okay. So how can you say in five minutes? Dentro de cinco. Uh huh. So oh. No. Yeah, no, adentro. no. No coincide. Uh huh. It doesn't make at, sense. It's at the house. No, you can say in the house, at the house, and on the house. But I'm, I'm going to tell you the difference. Okay? Okay. Um, listen to this example, okay? There's an example. It's called kiss. Kiss is keep it simple. 
Mantengámoslo simple. The example, the explanation. Okay? Okay. That's how I like to teach. I like to keep it simple because um, that's how I like to understand because I am very, I have a problem that when people give me a very complicated or technical explanation, I don't understand. Like a mechanic or a doctor, when the doctor tells me, oh yeah, you're, uh, and they start giving me this big explanation El tendón superior izquierdo va a ser removido por los... <laughs> Excuse me, what? No, o sea, le vamos a cortar aquí arriba la rodilla. Okay, all right. So, you know... <laughs> y le cortan la buena. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no it's, oh my God. Yeah, no, but <laughs> what, what I'm saying is like, or like mechanics, ¿qué tiene carro? Es que relay que va que conecta al piñón con que va, and they start giving you these explanations. It's like, what? <laughs> Pero va a encender. Oh, yeah, sí, solo hay que comprar esto. Oh, okay, <laughs> good. No me puedes decir eso. And they give me like this big explanation. So I always tell them, explain to me like I am in kindergarten. And that's a very good technique that I, I recommend to you. Yeah. And let me give you an example, okay? Mm, let me see. Hello, Ellie. Hi, hi, Ellie. Are you there? Hello, Ellie. Excuse me, Ellie. Do you have children? No, not yet. Okay, not yet. Okay. But imagine a little kid tells you, Ellie, imagine you have a child and says, Mommy, I have homework and the homework is I have to explain the difference between I and me. Now, remember, um, Ellie, I am a little kid, so you have to explain to me and not only explain to me, the most important thing here is I have to understand. So... Explain to me. Mm. I, I don't know. You see, um, I'm, I'm, excuse me, Ali. This, believe it or not, so it means, that's easy. No, it's not that easy. It's a little complicated because this is how, when you think and speak, think and speak. Don't okay. use complicated, don't use complicated vocabulary. Try not to use complete sentences. Don't give me a conversation. Just give me a simple uh, explanation. What is the difference between I and me? And I will tell you later that I can give you two explanations. I can give you a university grammatical explanation, or I can give you a kiss explanation. <clears throat> different and you and me no i and me not you i never said you i said i and me the pronoun i and the pronoun me what is the difference um i think i know i know how home how excuse me and uh, if you need help, if you need help, say, help me, class, and somebody will offer help, and you choose that person, okay? Okay. Uh, I think the different in me. No. Uh, I know how home broke, broke your cousin. A house. Yes. Okay. I don't understand, but okay. I eh, love eh, you. Quiero saber si estoy entendiendo bien la pregunta. Yes, I want entendiendo? to know. In English, please. Ah, okay. Do you have a different and shy do, do you and me? No. No. 
I'm telling you that your little brother or your little son ask you, Ailey, I have homework and my homework is to explain the difference between I and me. Did you understand me? Okay, class, did you understand me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ailey, yes, so, teacher. okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Ailey, I'm going to explain one more time, but I need your imagination here. Imagine you have a son, okay? Mm, yes. Your son goes to kindergarten. Yes? Mm -hmm. And you have homework. Do you understand homework? Yes. 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 What is homework, Ailey? Tareas. Okay, good. So you say, okay, little, your, your son, his name is Michael. Uh -huh. Because your name is Michelle. Uh, Michael, what is your homework? Oh, mommy, in the kinder, I, ha I have to explain the difference between I and me. The difference between those two. Do you okay. understand my... My situation? <clears throat> wait, wait. Do you understand my question or the situation? Uh, I see. Okay, good. But I, I, I know. I don't know. Say, explain. Okay, it's okay. No problem. But you, you understand I, and you understand me, correct? I love yes. you, you love me. So that's what little Michael needs to explain. What is the difference? Do you need help? Uh, Do you? Teacher, I, I, excuse me. Yes. Uh, I understand that uh, uh, in, if we speak uh, about the grammar, uh, I, I understand that uh, we, we are speaking about uh, subject pronouns and object pronouns. Yes, okay, good. Yes, but don't, 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 don't give spoilers. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, may, may what I I, yes, thank you. That's what I want. Ellie, do you understand or do you need help? I need help. <laughs> Excuse me, I need help or understand? What, what? You need help? Ellie, do you need help or do you understand? Can you hear me? Yes. Do you okay. hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. So tell me, do you need help or do you understand? I need help. I need help. Yes. Repeat. I need help. I need, no, I need. I need. Help. Help. Very good. Okay, who can help Ailey? Me, teacher. Okay, Walter. Uh, I think it's uh, with the sentence, I use I when you do it, the action. Yeah? Yes. And use me in the sentence when you receive the action from someone, I think. Okay, do you, I, for me it's no problem, but remember Michael is seven years old. Do you think Michael understands? You, okay, I understand Walter and you are correct, but you, we're comparing I and me but you are saying you, why, why you? Stay with I and me. For example, uh, I think it's, it, it's so difficult sometimes to explain to a, 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 a child. Yeah, it's so difficult, but- But that's, that's, that's example, how you practice. Yeah, for example, I think a, a way to try to explain, for example, uh, when you say uh, you, you. Uh, no, no, no! Don't, 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 don't mention you. Don't say we. Okay. Don't say they. Yeah, Stay okay. with we, I and me because okay. then you get confused. Then you will okay. confuse the child. 
For example, when you when I say I eat an apple, I doing the action to eat. Exactly. Yeah. But when you say uh ya vamos con you otra vez. Okay. <laughs> When, when I say, uh, for example, uh, uh, do you love me? I receive love for you. From you. Yeah, I think from you, yeah, yeah. Very good, yeah. yes. Yeah. Very, okay, you have the idea, Walter. Very good, yes. Okay. So you give examples. Okay, look, I am going to call my mother. Who is going to do the action? Me. I I. I, yeah, right. Or I now I change. My mother is going to call me. Who's going to do the action? My mother. Your mother. And who's Our. going to receive? Me. 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 So Michael, I is when I do something, and me is when I receive something. Yeah. Yes. Oh, nos podemos ir a donde iba Milcar. I is a subject pronoun. A subject pronoun is when the subject goes first, then the verb, and then we end up, we finish with a, and then you start giving, giving the, the, the complete, you know, the, the, the grammatical university explanation. Yeah, poor Michael was done, huh? Es que mira, hijo, o sea, I, I es el sujeto. El sujeto va antes del verbo y después del objeto. Okay, y el mí es el objeto. El objeto es cuando, y el pobre Michael, ¿entendiste? Sí, mamá. <laughs> yeah. So, Teacher. you know, yes. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> can, I, can I say another tip? Excuse me. Yeah, Sandra, go ahead. Okay, I is used at the beginning of a sentence, and me at the end of a sentence. <laughs> yes, and no, not necessarily, because I can say you and me, and you and I. For example, forgive me. Please call I. I cannot say that. Yes, because imagine you and I will go to the park tomorrow. That means that you and I are the subjects. Mm -hmm. Please call I. <laughs> no, no, but wait, wait, hold on. Let's, let's listen to one thing. Remember uh -huh. what I explained. I is when I do the action, correct? Of course. So what? imagine you and I... Mm -hmm. are going to do an action tomorrow. You and I are going to eat pizza tomorrow. Okay, yeah. So I start with you and I, not you and me. Why? You and me together. That yeah. one is what the song says. No, wait, wait. But I want you to understand the difference between... That is a pregunta de Tofel, Constant. I want you to understand... You and okay. I is correct, and you and me is correct. Oh, but okay. but depending when it's correct to say you and I, when you and I are going to do the action together. Oh. Because you and I are subjects. You and I are going to eat pizza tomorrow. Now, cuando voy a decir lo mismo, you and me, Blanca is going to invite you and me to pizza tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You see how in one, you and I, we are going to do the action, and the other one, we're going to receive the action. Yes. Yes. Do you understand, class? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I don't want, I don't want to yes. confuse you, but this is what I want. This is how you practice good English, because um, this is when, when you try to explain something, Try to explain something very simple. Don't explain something complicated. When I have a conversation class or when I have a TOEFL class, sometimes I remember one time I had a person, it was like one lady, she was from Costa Rica. One was from uh, Honduras, Mexico, and the rest of Salvador, right? And then they spoke perfectly. I said, okay, today we're going to talk about habits or customs. And I said, Mexico, what is a typical food in your but in your um, country? And she said, tacos. Okay, explain to me, what is a taco? 
And that's, believe it or not, tacos. No, explain to me. Imagine I have never in my life heard of a taco. Explain to me what, what is it? Because I need a visual. Yeah. And then it came pupusas. Okay. What is a pupusa? Todo menciona mismo. Pupusa. No, what is it? Or they do this. It's a tortilla with cheese. Oh, okay. I like tortilla with cheese. More simple. But that's not a pupusa. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I am thinking tortilla and cheese. You know, so I ask you, so what is a pupusa? Mm. Y ahí es donde empezaba, ah, una pupusa es como una tipo tortilla que está rellena de cerdo. You know, it's a tortilla that is stuffed, así se dice stuffed. Stuffed. Which, stuffed. stuffed. Por eso viene stuffed animal, los peluches. It's a tortilla, oh. it's similar to a tortilla and it's stuffed with Pork, the basic is base, normally is beans, cheese, and pork, but now there are many different flavors, but it always will have cheese. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and then you know, and then oh, okay, you get the idea. And I gave a simple explanation. But if the problem is that sometimes we want to give a very complicated explanation, and that's not. Um, Este otro ejemplo, in Christmas. Hey, how was your Christmas? What did you eat? Ah, chicken with turkey, um, turkey with bread. Pan con pavo. And I say, what is that? Said, turkey, a bread and turkey. Explain that to me. The turkey inside the bread. Oh, so that's a turkey sandwich. Because listen, in Spanish, we understand ah, pan con pavo. But if you say that in English, it's like saying, you know, literally, literalmente is bread with turkey. <laughs> no, pero es que, sal yes, it's a sandwich. But we can say maybe it's a Salvadorian Christmas sandwich. <laughs> mm. Le ponemos un poco más de... But literally, a sandwich is the bread and something in between. That's a sandwich. Yes. Okay. So listen, back to in, on, at. I hear a noise. You know, like, like the beetle. He is somewhere in here. <laughs> I it think a ghost. or it's my little devil in the back. <laughs> Could be. Literalmente, <laughs> literally, that is Lucifer. <laughs> that is Lucifer. I have I have a Dracula here. Oh my God. <laughs> For Halloween or always you have this. Oh no! I, I I these are my toys. Oh, it's your toys, right? You should see my mask. I have a mask collection. Like a sneak, a sleep nut. Yeah. Oh man, I would love to. to yes. <laughs> okay. So listen. In on at number one. There's two different ways of explaining in on at. One way is time. And the second way is place. place. Okay, so let's start with time. Okay. In, in is future. The movie will start in five minutes. The movie will start in five minutes, correct? So in is to explain a future, not necessarily a long future. It can be an immediate future. But you can use the, the in 
for when you're talking about uh, a long period of time, right? Yes, as long as it's future. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with short, immediate future, and then long, long. Okay. The, the movie will start in five minutes. My birthday is in three weeks. Christmas is in three months. Elections are in 2024. Creo, or 23. I don't know. Yeah, something. But did you see that? I started five minutes, three weeks, three months, two years, in. That's how we use in. And always you use when you're talking in future. You can use in when you're talking in past. That's okay. Very good. Let me let me continue. In in Christmas. Okay, in Christmas. In my birthday. In Halloween. Okay, next is on. Ya voy a regresar a in. Next is on. Uh, who is here? Oh, no, Wendy. Wendy. When is your birthday? Hi. When is your birthday? It's on July. It's in July. In July. What day? It's in July. What day? Seven. Okay. So Seven. listen. So listen to this class. My birthday is on the seventh of July. So on is more specific, in is more general. When is Christmas? So you digo December, sería on December or in December? In December. In December. In December. Cuando we start on? When you use the specific date. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On December 25. On December 25. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Sorry. No, go ahead. Ask, please. No, the, I'm talking about the, the next, the next, the at. The at, at is oh. for more specific, right? No, at, when it's in time, at is only for time. Only for time. Oh, okay. You don't use when, yeah. with the dates? It's no. Literally. No, you don't say at Friday. Never. Okay. Only you are at night. Yes. Mm -hmm. For example, in November, I have a dentist appointment. Yes. So I, I know that it's in November, but I didn't really say when, but it's in November. But if I say on November 4th, I have a day, uh, an, uh, an appointment, I am being specific. So in and on, van juntos. The only difference is that on, you're being very specific. Okay. Van a oír muchos nativos hablar, oh, with my family, what we do on Christmas, we celebrate. And that's not correct. With my family, what we do in Christmas, we celebrate. Or in December. Okay, so let me see. Yancy Yvette, are you there? Yes, when is Independence Day? <laughs> Using in. Only in. Salvadorian or USA? Uh, Salvadorian. In September. In yeah. September. Oh, it's in September. Very good. Yeah. Now using on? Um, 50. On September, September 15th. September 15th. In. On September 15th. Very good. So one more time, using in, when is independence in El Salvador? Independence is in September. Oh, very good. Now using on, when is uh, Independence Day in El Salvador? The Independence Day in El Salvador in is, September. is on 15 September. Very good. Excellent. Miguel, when is... Okay, when is the World Cup? I don't know, teacher. 
Are you serious? Yeah, I don't fanatic of football. Sorry. Oh, you are hurting me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's a jeller. No, I'm joking. No, but it's it's okay. It's, no, but it's in November. It's in the holiday. Okay. <laughs> but you know, know what? I don't know exactly when. So that's why I would say it's in November. In November. Okay. <laughs> but does somebody know when? But is that on? What is it? It's on November it's 20. Oh, it's on November 20th? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 20. Thank you. Mm. Uh, it's in November 20th. Yeah, okay. Joaquin Ramirez, what time do you wake up? Um, at, I wake up at, at uh, 40 a.m. 40 a.m. 4 a.m. Oh, 4 a.m. Yes. Okay. Why? Oh, yeah, because you live in... in... Be, because I have to to go on my birth and um at 7 30. yes yeah. and you have to pass los chorros yes what <laughs> yes. what what time does that what time does that road start to get the traffic heavy at five in the morning yes at five in the morning uh, yes about the um, the about five thirty, I in uh, trouble uh, or oh, driving in my car in in this in this place. Wow. Okay. Very good. Class, do you understand in on at when it's time? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Cool. So. Uh, Patricia, what is the difference between in and on? <clears throat> Talking about time. Oh, sorry. Hmm. We use in when uh, hmm, when we are talking about uh, a date uh, in general. General, good. That's the key. And uh, we use a, uh, on when we are talking about a specific date. Excellent. And this, you as a doctor, I imagine in English, you would use a lot in and on because you would tell your patients, okay, your next appointment is in December or your next appointment is in February in, in, in. Or you say, remember, next week on Tuesday at 4 p.m. you have to be here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool class, do you have questions with in, on, at, in time? No oh, questions? No, I think I... Oh, you can explain for a child. I understand, but what is the form that you can explain a, a, a little boy or a little girl that is more easier? I, I, would, use, I would use the example I did with you right now. When is okay. Halloween? <laughs> Yeah, you say, you, like I tell myself, so when is Halloween? It's in October. It, ah, in October. But you know, then you say, okay, what day? 31. Ah, so it's on the 31st. And, you know, and then sometimes let them answer. <laughs> and then, you know, do a lot of repetition. So when is Christmas? On December? No. In December, in December. And then 24 on December 24th. December. Yes. I have a question. Yes. When you talk about at in the place. Wait, that's next. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. um, I work at Pollo Real. What is the difference at work in Pollo Real? <laughs> very good I would, yes that's next right now okay okay now first now let's go okay but do you understand in on at and time yes yeah teacher. all right cool now we're going to do in on at in place okay yes 
Okay. Desagámonos primero del on. On is very simple. On my head. On is sobre. That's it. No more. Uh, on the table. On the table. Yes? In no more. Car. No, on, on, on. On, on. Now, in y at va junto, like Rafael said. Let me give an example, and you will answer. I call my wife. Vaya, I guess. Where are you? Uh, my, imagine my wife. Hey, come for me. Where are you? In Metro Centro. Okay, go. I go. Shh. And I park in Metro Centro. <clears throat> oh, I le digo, yo estoy por entrar. Where are you? In Metro Centro. Wow. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Where in Metro Centro? At Simán oh, Metro Park. I am in Metro Centro at Simán. Oh, okay. I am in Simán at the children's department. So what do you think is the difference between in and at? In es dentro y at es como cerca. No. Oír. At is a specific place. Mm -hmm. It's a more it's, specific. It's more specific. Yeah. Yes. More specific. At is at. more specific. For example, I, I would say that in Metro Centro at Simán. But for for when you you when I use at, I need to use in together. No, when you say basically when you say at, you you have to be very specific. Okay, but I don't need uh, say for, for your example in Metro in Metro Centro at Simán. I don't use no. Well, the, no, it depends because, like in my situation, that would happen. Imagine my wife, Melissa, said, eh, Okay, Benia, okay, where are you? Aquí estoy ya. Where are you? In Metro. Okay, <laughs> bien. Super. Oh, so there's a big difference to say in Metro Centro to say in La Puma. You know, there's a big difference because Metro Centro is extremely big. Yeah. And there are many options where I can park or many options where she can be. So in this case, she would have to be more specific. Porque si me dicen solo, where are you? At Simán. Ah, okay. Which Simán? The Galerías, Metro Centro. Plaza Mundo. Yeah, Gran Vía, whatever. So say, so, oh, I am in Metro Centro at Simán. Or I am. Está frente a Simán, pero no ha entrado, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. And when she tells me she's in the shoes department, I never go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I have a good trick for that. It's next to Halloween Day. Teacher. Uh, 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 yes. Sometimes I heard about an. Uh, um, in the situation of the place, for example, uh, into and onto, I think have a relation, uh, it's related to a uh, in on at, yeah? Right? How to use that? No, use but yeah, but onto, I don't know. It's actually into, but into is totally different. Into, you're being very specific. I am going into the bank right now. Don't call me. Oh. So I am into, what's that? The in to the A Ave into. Mm, okay. That's that's what you're trying to explain into. Like, hey, I have to I have to hang up because I'm going into the bank. Ah, yeah. oh, I got it. Okay. So listen, do you understand when to say in and at? Imagine this. Hey, where do you live? Ah, in San Salvador. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so imagine I work in Pizza Hut. Ring, ring. Hi, thank you for calling Pizza Hut. My name is David. Can I help you? Yes, I want a pizza. Very good. Where do you live? In San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> yes, se la mando. Yeah. Good part. <laughs> yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in yeah. my house. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. 
so you know, I I would say uh, what part of San, San Salvador because San Salvador is very big. That means that we have more specific. Yes, when you say at, we have you to just be more want... specific. Yes, in is general, at is specific. More specific place. I live in Mexicano San Salvador. Yes, like for example, last time in La Selecta, I wanted to take my son to the stadium, right? And I said, um, but he was sick, so I went. Man, where are you? Oh, I am in the stadium. Oh my God! Where? No, don't worry. I'm at Sombra. <laughs> so I had to go Sombra. But you see that I am in the stadium, so I'm just being general. Yeah. Hey, you went to the concert? Yeah, I was in the concert. Oh, yeah, me too. Where were you? Oh, I was at the back. You see, I'm being more specific. Como ya dije, in the concert, now I'm being more specific. O sea, en pocas palabras, creo que no se puede mencionar at si no hemos mencionado en antes. So, Rafael. It's, 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 it's related in, at, um, yeah. Yeah, so Rafael. Sorry, yeah. Go ahead. No, Sorry, teacher. Uh, 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 it's to relate uh, in at always, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, if I give me an example, I work in Pollo Real or at Pollo Real. The two are correct. But there's yeah. a little difference that there are many Pollo Reals. Yeah. So yeah. imagine, imagine, yo mañana, I'm going to sell something to Rafael. Where do you work? Oh, I work in Pollo Real or at Pollo Real. Oh, Pollo Real, where is that? <laughs> so you can say, I work in Pollo Real at Merliot. Mm -hmm. Or I work at Pollo Real in the accounting department. Yeah. Perfect example, Patricia Herrera, she works in El Seguro Social, right? Right, teacher. She works in El Seguro Social. Now, if you know the Seguro Social, it's not only doctors, the employees. There are many things. Yeah. Yes, and there are many departments. Yeah. Department. Yes. So Patricia says, I work in El Seguro Social at emergencies. I work in El Seguro Social at surgery. I work in Seguro Social at the pharmacy. Yes. Do you understand yes. the difference between in on at? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's very simple. At is to be more specific. Okay. In is in general. Mm -hmm. In is in general, yes. So when you say, okay, you go straight and you stop in the corner or at the corner, no, at the corner because you're being specific. Sure. And uh, as for example, this um, Rafael, he works in a Pollo Real, uh, but if, if there is one uh, next to La Chulona, for example, mm -hmm. we can say uh, he works in Pollo Real on um, a Constitution Boulevard. On? Constitution Boulevard? In Constitution mm -hmm. Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Because ah. it's a, a it's big... Yeah, or basically we say, I work in Pollo Real at the Constitution Boulevard. Oh, good. Because it's being specific. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but when we mention on, uh, we have to say the number of the... Of the structure of the house right yeah no but you, you don't say on you say in oh, okay. or yeah you can say on too but normally it would be in oh, okay. pero esto a veces sale like cuál es un lugar famoso pero que solo sabemos que hay uno give me a famous place in el salvador that there's only one 
Multiplaza. Okay, good. Where do you work? An example? Yes. I'm going to Plaza Marriott at the Vivienda Bank. Okay. I work in Plaza Merliot at the Vivienda Bank. Excellent. Pero también puede decir, I work in the Vivienda Bank. Oh, which one? Oh, in Plaza Merliot at the Vivienda Bank. Yes. All right, do you understand? So basically, at you want to be more specific. So, for example, Rafael, in your example, I work in Pollo Real at, where do you work? At Escalón. Okay. There's one in Escalón? Yes. In where? the first, in the first street, back galerias. Behind, oh, yes. Yeah. By Olala, right? Sim yes. Yes, it's true. Yeah. It's the first restaurant. It was the first? Restaurant. Oh, how many Pollo Reals are there? Nine. In all of El Salvador or all in San Salvador? Only San Salvador and Lourdes. Okay. Oh, interesting. Nice. All right, good. Okay, so that, that's the difference between in and at. So... Many people say, get in as many things. No, it's not many things. It's two things. It's yeah. either time or place. <laughs> On is time or place. At is time or place. So how do you practice? I work in Pollo Real at Escalón Branch. Branch is sucursal. I work in El Seguro Social at the emergency department. Pero se puede decir in the emergency department. Oh yeah, I work in the emergency department at clinic two, number two. Yes. Siempre cuando pueda ser más específico, the link at. at, at. <laughs> Like that example, I am in Metro Centro at Simán. Okay, hey, I'm in Simán, where are you? I am in Simán at the Children's Department. Hey, mm -hmm. I'm still in the Children's Department, where are you? Oh, I am at... In front of. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm... Oh, I am at the candy section. <laughs> or I can use the next to the candy or... I, okay, yeah, I can exactly, imagine. exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. The more specific, the better. Yes. We did not, let's check. Okay, listen to three people describe important events in their life. Choose what their turning point for each was. Let me see, let me share sound. Please tell me if you could hear, okay? Page 74. Can you hear? Yes, yes we can. Yes. Okay. Exercise four, listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together. 
and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know? I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Okay. So, Sally. What was Sally? Was she a top student? She learned Spanish, or he and his brother... She learned Spanish. 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 She learned Spanish. You know what? You should be thankful. Spanish is the most complicated language in the world. Mm. <laughs> we are fortunate. I'm yes. lucky. I'm lucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. What is he? Sometimes I I teach Spanish, but only basic because it gets complicated. Yeah. Because imagine in English the verb drink. I drink, you drink, we drink, they drink. <laughs> <laughs> so then they think drink is beber. Yo beber, tú beber, ellos beber, nosotros beber. That would be the logic sense. Yeah. So, no, el verbo es beber. Pero si es yo, yo bebo. Si es tú, tú bebes. Pero si es usted, usted bebe. Bebemos y beben. And they say, what? 
<laughs> with every verb, it changes mm -hmm. with the pronoun. And in English, it doesn't. So that's why it's complicated. OK, who is Henry? Henry. He and Henry. his brother went to different colleges. Uh -huh. OK. Different college. Very good. Debbie? Um, she, she was, was a top student, top student, student in her class. Uh, she was top student in her class. Let's listen to this one. Page 74. Exercise 4. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really... It's the same story, right? Yep. Yeah. So let's do this. So what does Tally do? Does she become more confident and independent? Very proud of. Very proud of. Very proud of. Proud of. Proud of. Do you understand that expression, proud of? Yes. Orgulloso. Orgulloso de. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of her. Of myself. Uh -huh. Yesterday, I was not proud of a Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, I was sad. Can you get in to the I am a proud Barcelona fan, but yesterday, I was not a proud of Barcelona fan. Okay, Henry. Became, became more, became became more, more confident. Independent. And Debbie? Yeah, Debbie? Became a lot became more, 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 more outgoing. 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 All right. Do you understand what is an outgoing person, right? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Okay. Um, an outgoing person is... I consider myself, I am an outgoing person. That means that when I go out... I am not afraid of speaking to people. I start conversations with people. I say, hey, how are you? Hey, oh, really? Oh, you know, I I talk with my neighbors. I, when I go. Sociable. Yes, it's like social. It's, it's like, like uh, extrovertido. Yes, yeah, sociable. Extrovertido. Mm -hmm. It's more sociable. Talk to you. Yeah, I mean, remember, all those are synonyms. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but outgoing is outgoing. It's like, if I go, if I go, imagine if I go to a friend's reunion, yeah, karaoke, I know I am a terrible singer, but I'll sing. I don't care. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> goodbye. Yes. But there's some people like, Viva el rock. Yeah, <laughs> and especially if I drink tequila, I will say. After but, that, after that. But but you know you know I think I think that's a natural. That's a natural thing, because my wife, she's not outgoing. She's very serious, <laughs> or or she appears to be very serious. <laughs> Because all my neighbors, they say, your wife is very angry. No, she just doesn't talk. <laughs> you know, and, and, but you know, <laughs> but like when I am with my son in the street, my son talks to everybody. Teacher. So I like that. Yes, Sandra. I'm sorry. Um, outgoing person is like an easy going person? It's everything. It's a, it's a positive word. Oh. It's a positive, it's something positive. Outgoing is easygoing, it's a social person, it's cool, it's fun. Oh, that's nice. Yes. But everything is like a possible, you know? It's like very outgoing. Like my mother, my mother and my father were very outgoing people. Maybe that's why I am like that. <laughs> uh -huh. And maybe that's why my son, because that's what I'm saying, it's natural. My son... When, when we're in the street, like when the garbage people come, they always say, what are you doing? What is that? 
Can I? Me, una vez lo subieron al camión. <laughs> David, where are you? And he was inside the truck, pegándole la campana. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you know, I'm saying, yeah, that's my son because I like, I like that he is outgoing. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah so, so do you that that's outgoing and what is the contrary of outgoing going going no <laughs> no it was good Timmy. no Timmy. Stop going. Stop it, would, it would be serious, serious. Hi. serious. your wife is very serious your husband is very serious. <laughs> no, no, I, they look serious, yeah. but they're not. Like the first time you meet Los Suegros, right? They're very serious. <laughs> yes, they are. But and then, you know, after they're outgoing. Yeah. Okay, class, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow and tomorrow. Let me see, see you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> You, oh, yeah. tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow we finish tomorrow. lesson one. Tomorrow. We're good. Okay, thank you very much. Have a wonderful... Oh, remember, this class tomorrow. Have a wonderful Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye.